Hi everyone, it's Dot, and tonight we're making a dish that is tasty and very simple to make. You will find you could have this for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It doesn't matter time of day. They pack a wallop as far as flavor. Tonight we're making a mushroom and Swiss cheese omelet. All right, what goes into an omelet? Well, the beauty of omelets is you can add whatever ingredients you want. Obviously you need eggs, that's important, but you can use any type of vegetable you want. You can even add meat to it and you can use different types of cheeses. Today, because I have an abundance of mushrooms sitting in my fridge that I'm trying to get rid of, I choose mushrooms. And I'm gonna use some Swiss cheese and I'm also gonna be flavoring it up with a little bit. I just did a very thin slice of onion that I have here and I just cut it in half. So not a whole lot of onion, but just a little bit for flavor. And then the other thing I'm adding for flavor, which is where it really packs a phenomenal wallop on your taste buds is nutmeg, just a hint of nutmeg. And you'll see how I use that in a moment. But what goes into an omelet itself, the most important thing is of course the egg. And for a traditional omelet, you don't wanna go more than three eggs. Two to three eggs is probably enough for, one per, for a one person omelet. Uh, it's perfect for that. And the other beauty, beautiful thing I love about omelets is that you can get nearly the perfect balance between fat, a moderate, uh, high fat, moderate amount of protein, and low carb. It is just a wonderful dish, dish that's very filling and it'll satisfy you for hours on end. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Now, a lot of people have their own technique for making omelets as far as, do you add cream to the eggs? Do you add water? What do you add? I don't tend to add anything for the most part, but that's just me. If you wanna add cream, if you wanna add water to it, and that at times can make the egg fluff up, which is very nice, that's completely up to you. I'm just gonna use, use eggs tonight. So I'm just gonna beat my eggs. And the main thing is when you're beating the eggs, you just want to beat them for consistency. You don't want to see any white. You don't want to see the bright yolk. You want to make sure you get a nice soft yellow. You want everything combined. So basically beat the heck out of them <laughs> is my recommendation. And by the way, I switched from a whisk to a fork just because the bowl is a little bit small and I didn't want the eggs sloshing over. So there, I've beaten my egg. They're a little bit frothy and that's perfect. We're going to now head over to the stove. My fat of choice for this is going to be ghee, just because it has a high smoke point and I like the nutty flavor. It'd be very nice and goes very nice with that nutmeg. So I'm going to add this in. Now I will say this, if you don't want to use ghee or you don't have it, you can certainly use butter. You can also use a light olive oil as well. It really is up to you what you would like to use. So as you can see, I chopped up the mushrooms in sort of an assortment of sizes and that's perfectly fine. You can do be as creative as you want. I'm using white mushrooms because that's what I have left over. What I'm gonna do is just, I have these on a medium heat. I'm frying my mushrooms up. What eventually will happen during the frying process, it will stop and then you'll start seeing liquid come out of the mushrooms, which you want. You want all of that liquid to come out of them because you don't want a wet omelet basically. Okay, if you look, you can see that the mushrooms are starting to sweat, which is perfect. What we're gonna do is basically evaporate that water out of them, but I'm gonna go ahead and add the onions. I added the onions after the mushrooms simply because of how thin they are. What I don't want to have happen is them is for the onions to overcook, essentially. Uh, what I'm going to do now to give it a little bit of flavor is I'm adding some churned butter and I'm going to sprinkle in a couple of pinches of nutmeg into this. Okay, I have this all nice and fried the way I want and it smells delicious right now with that nutmeg. I'm going to go ahead and just set these aside. There's a reason for that. We're going to cook the omelet in the same skillet. I'm going to take some paper towels and I'm just gonna wipe down my pan. You always want to have a clean pan when you're doing an omelet. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and oil my pan, get them ready for the eggs. And just beat the eggs one more time and add them in here. Now while you're cooking your eggs, you're just gonna go lightly. You want curds to be created and it's okay if it scatters around. You want to make sure it cooks well on the bottom as well as on the top. Now we just let it cook. All right, what I'm going to do is add a little bit of sea salt. I got to work fast. You don't want it completely set on top simply because you don't want a dried out omelet. So I'm adding my cheese and I'm adding cheese on both sides. I'm using about two ounces of Swiss cheese, thinly cut. So it is going to be nice and melted. And I'm going to go ahead and add 
my mushrooms to one side and all I'm going to do is spread them out evenly. Some chefs are very, very good at being able to slide onto a plate. Let me turn that off. Let's try this. <laughs> they can slide it onto, well, I'm not that good, but they can slide it onto a plate and flip the last part over. I'm not there yet, but here we go. I'm going to try to flip it over. Sorry, you can't see this. I got my pan in the way. And there we have a mushroom and Swiss cheese omelet that is ready to be eaten. All right, I told you, very easy to make, doesn't take a whole lot of effort, especially if you do a lot of prep work ahead of time with your vegetables. This is dinner, so I'm serving it with a very small salad with some tomatoes. And let's go ahead and cut into it and let's see what it looks like. I want it nice and gooey with the cheese and the cheese is very gooey. So let's go ahead and let's take a little bit of a bite. Oh, I want that mushroom and that cheese. Oh, look at that. That's what you want in it. <laughs> wow. That is a lot of cheese. Okay, here we go. I love nutmeg. It just makes the mushrooms pop that much more when you use nutmeg in there. When you, when you cook them with the nutmeg, it just, the seasoning is just oh so wonderful. The main thing about something like this, because there's not a whole lot of ingredients. I mean, there's a, quite a bit of mushrooms and cheese in here, obviously, but because the fat content and it's healthy fat and it's a high fat content, this is going to keep you full for a long time. Uh, if I have one of these in the morning, I'm usually not eating until dinner time. I mean, for me, that, you know, it's that filling. They're easy to make and you can make them, you can have them any time of the day, which is what's wonderful about them. And I hope you reconsider omelets and if you, if you love them, then go ahead and keep eating them. They're perfect for a ketogenic diet or a low carb diet. And with that, I hope you enjoy the video, like subscribe and share with your friends. And till next time, I'll see ya.